Hey, what's up, Mike? What's going on, Thank man? you for joining us for this ride along, man. Take a drive through, you know, where you grew up, your hometown. Memory Taking lane. us through memory lane, man. Were you a fan of the Falcons growing up? Come on, man, of course. <laughs> was a Falcon fan and you grew up in Atlanta, you just know to hate the Saints. So tell me about going to the Georgia Dome. What was that like growing up? Man, it was fun. It was when I was growing up, uh, going to the Georgia Dome. Well, actually not even going in was the major thing, uh, tailgating. City of Atlanta, man, it was just so fun. It was just growing up, everybody connected. We all, it just felt like we all grew up the same. Everybody had the same problems. Everybody was going through the same amount of things. And on weekends, man, we all would go to the same place and have fun. Like when I was growing up, like Castle K, like skating ring was like the big thing. And everybody always had this, the same issue. Either your parents were dropping you off or they was picking you up. It was never both. <laughs> so you, you used to play O-line, right? You were a left tackle. My, <laughs> my brother telling people that. <laughs> When that's I what, first that's what the street saying, when that's I what first saying. started off at Grove Park, you know, I started playing football late. I didn't start playing. You know, people be saying they played football at the age of five and three. I ain't really start playing football until I was ten. Was ten, man. So, so when did your thighs get that big, though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it happened in college. Because in college, man, you lift so many, you lift so much and run so much in college. It's like they, they push it to your limit. <laughs> so you, so at that point, was that when you like you start getting jeans and stuff like that, and you couldn't fit in them? <laughs> <laughs> is that an issue, like buying pants? Now, now it is. Like for the most part, man, I like wearing joggers. It's seriously tough wearing jeans. So do you do you have to get like a uh, like do you have to get stuff tailored? I like, ship from Cali. They're in Cali. So you get you get special jeans shipped from Cali to fit your thighs. Basically, yep. Yeah. If if we're being honest, yes. But for the most part, man, joggers joggers are it. You make this right, and we got English part. A lot of games won over here, man. Little <laughs> league. We was called a uh, Bankhead Jet was when I was here. Man, there used to be so much going on at this park. I mean. From freaking, from freaking shootouts to everything during the game. And like, we were, we were kids, we didn't know what was going on. I guess we had a lot of guys, you know, betting on the game. And, uh, you know, we, we we win a game and afterwards, it'd, it'd be a shootout. But <laughs> other than that, man, we was kids. After games, we run around, we have fun. Basketball court, we come out and play. But for the most part, man, playing for Bankhead was probably the most fun part. The west side of Atlanta was was all I knew. I never left, and it made me who I am today. You know, <laughs> Atlanta will most definitely humble you. I don't know. I mean, I guess from like how I grew up, I was always grateful and, and thankful for it. everything I got. This this is crazy, man. <laughs> Had to walk to school. Hollywood Court, Court was down there. Our first day moving into Hollywood Court, it was a drive-by shooting. It's just something I never forget. It's just something I don't want to be a part of. But it's just like, anytime I see Hollywood Court and go past there, and it's just like, <clears throat> my first day moving in, well, our first day moving in is a drive by shooting. It just lets you know, like, how it was growing up. Yeah. You excited to head in? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Being a kid, the most important thing was, and you can brag about your friends, was having your name on the board. That's, <laughs> that's what you wanted. You wanted your name to be on the board. Did you get, you had perfect attendance? I most definitely had perfect attendance. So, so you weren't a troublemaker here? Oh, no. <laughs> like I told my, my parents I didn't play it up. What was your favorite when you saw the lunch menu, you knew it was gonna be a good day? The square rectangle pizza. You could never go wrong with the square rectangle pizza. Oh man, we had a, we had a, we had a food fight when I was in here one I time. had a food fight? Yeah, think about it. <laughs> Little kids, we had a food fight. Everybody loved the book fair. I don't know what it was about the book fair that made you want to just come up and steal money out your mama purse and buy books. <laughs> <laughs> so you say, so are you telling right now that you did that? I most definitely did, mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> but when we lived in Hollywood Court, 
I most definitely stole some money out your parents to go buy books. <laughs> it paid off though. So it actually feels good to come back here and, and seeing how much things have changed and evolved, especially from a technology point. We, we walk past classroom and kids, everybody's most definitely paying attention. And it um, seems like the kids are having fun here. So all the teachers, when I was here, uh, I just wanted to tell them thank you um, for, for keeping me straight on, making sure that you know my grades were up to par and that they always steered me in the right direction, made sure that on the road and principal list was, was, was actually fun to be on when I was younger. So I would say um, thank you so much. Um, you guys shaped me and women shaped me to the person I am today. It makes me want to visit here more often. It makes me want to give back more. It makes me want to be in the community more with the kids. How did your childhood motivate you to, I guess to, not to make it to the NFL, but just to provide a better life for your family? I, it, I mean, it, it made me want to be different. I don't want to be like, I just tell myself I don't want to be another statistic. I don't, I don't, I wanted to, I wanted to, to live better for, not just for myself, but for my family. I want everything to be different. You had those days, man, where you sit on the edge of the bed, when them workouts is, is hard, classes is, is every, you know what I mean, every day you don't get no break and you sit on the edge of bed and yourself like, man, am I really built for this? Uh, and I always have back in my mind, like, this is what you gotta do if you want everything to change for you. Mike, now we're at Frederick Douglass High School, also known as Doug, I've heard yep, you call it yep, Doug. Yep. Why is this place important to you? It's important to me because it's like one of the places where I really figured out was like, you know what, like football is, I, I could probably, probably go really far with this. Do you have a favorite memory here on this field? Playing against the Tri-City, and uh, I scored a touchdown like right over here. And then y'all looked to the side and my mom and dad was just standing like right here. So it's like one of my favorite memories. I think we got, we got one more surprise for you today. You know me? Come on, Ron. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing here, man? I just flew in, man. Really? Yeah, they told me you going to be here. Oh, my. Are you surprised? Very, man. What are you doing here? I'm it's retired. Not even, I, I know you're retired. I want to go. Where I wanna go. <laughs> oh, my God. Who set this up? Oh, my God. How you doing, you man? I'm doing good. I'm enjoying watching you on Sunday. He kept, he, he's a sense of pride on the first day I met him. And um, he's a sense of pride now. I, you know, I watch him all the time. He probably don't know that. but. <laughs> Love Mike, appreciate what he did when he was with us, and we're really uh, happy with what he's, what he's doing now. Tremendous guy, deserves everything he gets. I really appreciate it because, man, it's, it's, it's so much I learned from you, and everything was fun, man. I, I appreciate everything. And <laughs> you was one of those people I, I, I wanted to, I wanna say I just looked up to, but I, I wanted to, to prove to you that like, you know, like I can do it. And I just wanted to do it. God, man, y'all got my head, man. I'm not gonna get emotional, stop it. But it was a, man, it was a pleasure to have you as my coach. And I just wanted to, to, to show you that, ah, stop. I just wanted to show you that I could, you know what I mean? I, I could make it to the next level. I could, I could, I could have the right grades. And, Oh my God! <sighs> well, you did it. Well. You did everything well. Everything well. We pre I appreciate the fact that the three years we had you, the leadership. You know the work you've been doing has not gone unnoticed. I think the whole community of Atlanta is realizing that you're doing a great job on the field as well as off the field, and sometimes things that you do off the field are greater than things that you accomplish on the field because that's what people remember. Some of these young kids that you're working with uh, in camps and so forth, they're not going to remember Mike Davis running a 40-yard touch, touchdown, but they're going to remember Mike Davis being out here on this field, chasing them around and having fun with them. Yeah. That'll be with them for the rest of their life. And because of uh, the things that you've done that we all appreciate, you know, I'm here today for, for a reason. First of all, to see you, and then to make a very important announcement. Oh my God! <laughs> and uh, because of your efforts off the field, you've been selected 
to be to represent the Atlanta Falcons as the Walter Payton no. Man of the Year. <laughs> no, not the Walter Payton Award, <laughs> man. No freaking way. Yes, sir. Yes, I said. Ah, man. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. That's a great accomplishment, Mike, and we're all happy. We're all happy for you. Oh Man, God. come on, come on. There's nobody else to, uh, more deserving than Mike Davis. <laughs> man, I just wanted to show the kids, man, everything is possible. And I'm up for the Walter Payton Award, man. I would have never, I would have never thought that. Oh my God, man, thank you for coming. Oh, man. Thank you. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you too, man. It gives me honor to do it. What does this mean to you, Mike? It means a lot, man. I just... A kid from Bankhead, man. A kid from... Who, who grew up here. And I, it just makes me want to continue to give back to the community. Like I said, my goal is always for, for kids to know, you know what I'm saying? I've been in their shoes, I've made it out, you know, you can make it too. And, uh... It's, it's like one of those big steps, man. I, I can't believe it. Y'all really got me. Like, I, like once I say, like, I'm really not a crier, I'm not. So, like, I really appreciate it. Um, I, I really be appreciated for being nominated. And um, it's just the beginning, man. Let's keep it going.